And we're back. Hey, everybody. It's the Coach and Corey Show. I'm Coach. I'm Corey Arnes. And here we are again for another distance learning rundown. Uh, we are just, um, first of all, good morning, Corey. Good morning. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Did you eat breakfast yet or are you going to eat breakfast later in a minute? I'm going to eat breakfast later. Okay. What are you going to have? Corn dog, always. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. All right. Um, so before we get going, I just want to remind everybody, we do have a public service to do here. Um, if you are, the, the, the semester is coming to an end. So you need to get your, your grades up and talk to your teachers. If you have any missing assignments, get those things turned in. Uh, and take care of your business because grades will be due next Friday. We only have a few school days left before Christmas break, which is awesome. But you know what happens if you get bad grades, right, Corey? Yes. What happens? Oh, no. Detention. Detention or maybe Santa Claus doesn't come to your house. You yes. don't want that, right? You want, you want Santa to come and give you lots of presents, right? Yes. All right, buddy. Um, so make sure you're taking care of your business. Talk to your teachers um, either today or uh, early next week and find out if there's anything you can do to bring those grades up so that Santa Claus doesn't skip your chimney and brings you lots of cool presents. All right, Corey, we ready to go? Yeah. All right, away we go. Uh, quick shout out to all of our fans and everybody who's been liking and sharing and subscribing. Thank you so much. Right, Corey? Yeah. Thank you to uh, Ethan left us a comment. Did you see that? Did you see Ethan's comment? Yes, who's Ethan? Uh, Ethan is in my sixth period class. So he really enjoyed the show. I think a lot of people are liking it, Corey. What yes. do you think? Yes, I know. And, oh, you do know? Okay. Uh, we both have our red shirts on today. Yes. Pretty good. We're like matching, matching buddies. I got my Christmas, uh, Christmas vacation shirt. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, we did not even coordinate that. That's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, but we are over 100 subscribers. So thank you to everybody. Make sure you uh, leave a comment. And if you do make it nice, be, be nice in the comments. Uh, we don't need negativity in 2000. Hey, Mr. I don't even though I'm still 12. Can I still watch SpongeBob? Uh, I think so. Ask your ask your mom and dad, but I think yeah, I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? Yeah, I approve. I think SpongeBob is is age appropriate for a 12 year old. Uh, is it SpongeBob Christmas or just SpongeBob? SpongeBob every episode. Every episode. All right, there's a phone call. All right, buddy. Um, it is Friday, December 11th, 2020. On this day. <laughs> In 1866, the first yacht race across the Atlantic Ocean took place. I thought this was kind of boring. It was kind of a slow day in sports, but uh, if you read the story, it's, it's actually a pretty interesting story. So uh, I found it on The Guardian. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I think it's worth checking out, but uh, I'm a weird guy. So um, that's a cool story, 1866. Um, they sailed yachts across the Atlantic Ocean. You believe that, Corey? Why? It was a race. They, they bet each other. They said, uh, they, it was these rich guys in New York, and they said, uh, we're, we're gonna bet $30,000, which in 1866, that's a lot of money. Uh, and mm. they all had their yachts, and they were all very proud of their yachts. And so they decided to sail them across the ocean. It took them 13 days, so they didn't arrive on the other side until December 23rd, 1866. So uh, again, read the, read the story in The Guardian, pretty interesting characters. I didn't think it was that interesting when I just read the blurb, but uh, the story's pretty fascinating. So go check that out if you got some time on your hands today. You ready for the quote of the day, Corey? Yes. All right, it comes from Margaret Thatcher, uh, former prime minister of Great Britain. Uh, and she says, you may have to fight a battle more than once to win it. And again, what does that remind you of there, Corey? Perseverance. Yes, it does. Perseverance and uh, resilience and grit and toughness. And we need more of that in 2020. 
uh, if we're going to make it through this and we can kind of count on each other, right, Corey? You count on yeah. me and I count on you. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. my back? Yeah. All right. So thanks. in course corner, do you clear everything when, when the course corner starts? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in just a minute, okay? Um, yeah, everything will be cleared when, when Corey's Corner begins. Don't get ahead of me, though, okay? Um, so, yes, uh, this is a good one, Margaret Thatcher, uh, telling us that you might have to, to fight the battle more than once to win it. Um, I think that's important in 2020. Uh, in order to win in 2020, you might have to keep fighting, people. So keep it up. Hang in there. Uh, and like I said, uh, I got your back, Corey. You got my back? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that, little brother. All right, uh, your health hack for today. This is a good one, Corey. Laughter increases the activity of antibodies in the body by 20%, helping destroy viruses and even some tumor cells. You what are tumor that? cells? What's that? What are tumor cells? Uh, sometimes they can be cancer or um, just uh, uh, growths within the body um, that you don't want in, in your body, right? Uh, kind of foreign um, uh, growths uh, that are happening within your body. I, I'm, I'm speaking out of school here, so uh, don't quote me on that, people. Don't be fact-checking me. Um, but tumors are not something you want. It's not a tumor. Do you like that? Kindergarten mm -hmm. cop, classic reference. Um, oh, yeah. So speaking of laughter, let's have, let's have a laugh, shall we, Corey? Yes. All right, you ready? Yes. Here we go. What did the librarian say when the books were in a mess? I don't know. We ought to be ashamed of our shelves. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, right? Yes. You want another one? Yes. Okay, two boulders got married, but divorced a short time later. He yeah. claims she took him for granite. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Granite, rocks, granite. All right, one yeah. more, one more, okay, because it's Funny Friday, and we got we to gotta get our laughs in to, to increase our antibodies and get rid of viruses and tumors, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Two hats are hanging on a rack, on a hat rack. Uh, one says to the other, you stay here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> you get it? Can we move on, please? Oh my gosh, you don't like my jokes? I like it. Okay, well, you're what ready to What did that say over there in this picture? Uh, that says laughter is the best medicine. That's how I was trying to make you laugh, buddy. I thought you said meme is the best meme. Um, I probably should have put memes on there instead of my, my silly jokes, huh? Yeah. Dang I'm it. All right. Well, maybe uh, Monday. We'll have meme Monday coming soon. All yeah. right. Corey's ready to move on. Tell everybody what they need to do, Corey. Self-care reminder. Drink plenty of water, eat healthy food, sleep for seven to nine hours, exercise a lot, and wash your hands for COVID-19. Yes, please. Wash your hands, wear your mask, use your brain, everybody. Thank you, Corey. Uh, and now we're moving on to everybody's favorite segment. It's Corey's Corner, everybody. So today, Corey, uh, you're going to tell us about twins. You want to first tell us about the different types of twins that there are? Yes. Okay. If you're, so if you're a pair of twins, you can watch this. And, and don't forget to subscribe, Twins. It's Twins Day. Okay, I got, so, can I tell you we have pairs of twins? Yeah, but first, to, to what kind of twins are there? Well, identical and fraternal. Okay, and tell us what those are. What tell us what those are? What, what's identical twins? What does that mean? Look the same. They look the same, all right. And then what are fraternal twins? Mm -hmm. Different gender. Uh -huh. And they look different. Okay, and they look different. All right, thank you. All right, now, so we've established that about twins. Hey, I got a question. What are the Minnesota twins? What do they look like? <laughs> that, that, that's a baseball team, Corey. That's what I, I recommended the Minnesota twins yesterday as Corey's top twins. And 
he didn't like that. But the Minnesota Twins are a baseball team from Minnesota. Kirby Puckett. All right. Number five. Tell everybody, Corey. Dewey, Louie, Louie, and Dewey. Oh, yeah. Dewey, Louie, and Dewey, the famous. They're actually not twins. What are they, Corey? Triplets. Yeah. Can I? Well, well, they're related. They're, they're nephews to, to one of Mickey's, Mickey Mouse's friends. What's his they're name? Related. Donald Duck. Like Donald, Donald Duck. Trump. And just like Donald, they don't wear pants. Yes. What's that about? What happens if we don't wear pants? You get in trouble. Underwear. Yeah, they're not even wearing underwear, though. These guys just got no pants and no underwear. Inappropriate, right? Yes. All right. So you want to tell everybody to wear pants? Yes. Go ahead. Wear pants, everybody. Even you, if you're a girl, everybody, you can still yep. wear anything. Yes. Please, wear pants, everybody. Please. Thank you, Corey. All right, next, number four. You ready? Yes. Chippendale. Chippendale, also known as the Rescue Rangers, right? Well, one of the crew of the Rescue Rangers. Is that, is that a clip from the Rescue Rangers? I believe that is from the Rescue Rangers. The, the reason I know is because uh, that's Dale wearing a Hawaiian shirt, right? And, and I always like Monterey and, and, Jack was on the rescue. He Eskimos in Eskimo jacket. Yeah, he's got his Eskimo jacket. I think it's a bomber jacket, but okay. Uh, anything else to say about Chippendale? Well, you're related. They have different colored noses. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom for one minute? <laughs> Buddy, we got we got a little bit uh, just more so to quick, go. okay? Okay, we'll just uh I'll just uh, entertain everybody, I guess. Um, it is Funny Friday, so maybe I got more jokes here. Okay, well, make sure you wash your hands. Don't, don't, don't rush on my behalf. Um, oh, speaking of the bathroom, here's a good one. I want to find the person who stole my toilet, but I have nothing to go on. That's so funny. That's a good one, right? Yeah. I redeemed myself. Okay, are you, are you done? Are you ready to go back to Twin Talk? Yes. All right, Corey's Corner number three. Jack and Jill. Okay, what do you well, have to say about them? They're played by, by the same actor. The, What's his name? Adam Sandler. Good. He's a funny guy. Well, you, you know they're named after a... a some story time characters. Yeah, do you know the, the, the rhyme, how it goes? Jack and Jill went up the hill and to fetch a pail of water. What about in this movie? We gotta finish it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill went tumbling after. Isn't that weird? Because water and after don't even rhyme. Yes. In this story, Jack and Jill went up, went up, went up to, to their lives to fetch a pail of freedom. Jack fell down and, and broke his head, and Jill went, went to, to the price is right. Oh, wow, I did not know that. I think I need to watch that movie again. Mm. All right, I think it's a holiday movie too. I think there's like a holiday part to that. So that might, now might be a good time for people to watch that. Would you say, Corey? Yes. Do you recommend they watch that before Christmas? It's time for the next one. Okay, number two. Little Miss Twins. How cute are they? They're adorable. How identical? Uh, they're pretty identical, wouldn't you say? Yes, they're identical. Yeah, it almost looks like the same exact drawing. Anything else to say about Little Miss Twins? That's that's one of your favorite books, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, Little Miss Tiny is my most little favorite Little Miss. Little Miss Tiny. Little Miss Tiny is your favorite Little Miss. Okay, that's good to know. 
Anything else to add there? Are you ready to go on to the number one twins, according no, no, to Corey? No, no, I don't have to talk about them, okay? Not well, the number one twins. No, not about them. Are there also girls? Are they? Please, I got a question. Okay, what's your question? Well, you know, I mean, I got fun facts about Little Miss Twins. Okay, go. They're, they're so cute and pretty. They're, they're both girls and they're identical. That's all. I'm so excited for the number one now. I'm so nervous. Okay, number one, Corey's Corner today, the number one set of twins. Are you ready, Corey? Yes. Drum roll. Black twins. And They're I don't so know pretty. I don't know these people. I've never even seen this. So you got to tell us about this. What, who are the loud twins, Corey? Well, they're so pretty. They're both girls. They're also they're also yellow and bro blonde. They're, mm -hmm. they're, so they're identical. Okay. Do you know they're both girls? Both of how many girls are they? Uh, they're two girls, I think. There's right. two of the female twins. Okay, yeah. You are correct. Anything else you want to say on Corey's Corner today? Well, they're so pretty. You know which, which girl is pretty? I think they're little Miss Twins. They're, they're cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're both, they're, they're both cute. It's hard to pick, isn't it? Yes. Where do you get all these images? I'm uh, so finished with Corey's Corner. That's the, all for today. Oh, one more thing about... The loud twins. They resemble SpongeBob. Sorry, the lights went out. They resemble SpongeBob a little bit, huh? Yeah. I got a question about Little Miss Twins. Okay, go. Do they have red noses? Yes, they do. I'm done. <laughs> it's hey, time to today, move on, everybody. What's that? It's time to move on to say goodbye. Okay. Thank you, Corey. Good job today on Corey's Corner. Everybody loves Corey's Corner. It's the best. Well, what is your favorite twin set? Um, I'm more partial to the Chip and Dale, the Rescue Rangers. But, uh, you know, I don't know some of those other ones. I showed you everybody. What? What is your favorite twins I showed you everybody? Yeah. Tell leave, us in the comments below. Yeah. Leave, the, leave it your favorite twins in the comments below. Maybe you have a different set of twins that you like. You can share that in the comments below. Coming soon to Corey's Corner. Uh, more Christmas content next week. Uh, we're going to do another round of Corey's gifts that he, he, he's looking for for this, this Christmas. Uh, we'll do a day of uh, Christmas movies, his top five Christmas movies, uh, and maybe some Christmas traditions, possibly exercises if we can get to it. If not, we'll put that into season two. Uh, maybe a little iPhone talk. Uh, what Corey does in his free time. We'll probably do that one day next week. Also coming soon to the Coach and Corey show, being boozled with Mr. P.X. Shoto. The guest star. The guest star. Who is it? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know which one, which episode what we're going to air. The tenth which? one. The tenth episode to do, oh. to do dance off and being boozled. Okay, well, being boozled might not be uh, episode ten. That might have to be a, a holiday special. Sorry. Uh, later in the week. Okay, Sorry. so don't don't promise anything for episode ten just yet. But it definitely is coming soon, Bean Boozled with Mr. Uh, Piaciotto. And the dance-off, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good at dancing. Are you good at dancing, Corey? I am. Okay. Well, you'll probably, you'll probably beat me then. But that's okay. And if you have suggestions for Corey's Corner, things you want to hear uh, Corey's thoughts on, please leave those in the comments below. Um, and we will get to them as soon as possible. If not this year, then possibly in Season 2. When is season two coming, Corey? Next year. In 2021, mm -hmm. season two coming to the internet near you. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Coach and Corey Show. If you're going to leave a comment, keep it clean, keep it positive, because we don't need that negativity in our life. Right, Corey? Yes. I think we forgot to say something again today, Corey. I, it was my well, fault. Well, thank you for – so so if we get 200 subscribers, it's a celebration. Yeah, we'll do a celebration if we get to 200 subscribers. Um, we did forget to say good morning nights. Sorry, you said. Sorry, my fault. My fault, everybody. So good morning nights. There we go. You want to say it, Corey? Good morning nights. Thank you.
All right. Uh, it has been the Coach and Corey Show. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm Coach. I'm Corey. Make it a great day night. Take care of yourselves and those around you. Be nice. Wash your hands. And don't forget to be awesome. Goodbye, nights. That's all I'm going to ask. I'm not going to ask anymore. Goodbye for the next episode. Okay. Bye, everybody. We're, going to, we're excited for the next episode. Good job, Corey. Bye-bye.